What is big power? Now, Vingegaard can reportedly hold 6.50 watts per kilo for an insane 30 minutes. But what if we're looking for raw power? Then we've got to look at riders like Matthew Van Der Poel, who did 1,362 watts in the finale of Strade Bianchi back in 2021. the biggest engines of all have to be the sprinters. Hey. Now of the cream of the crop now, the likes of Jasper Philipson has got a 1900 watt sprint which earned himself four stage wins at this year's Tour de France and then the likes of Dylan Groenewegen who's got a 1500 watt sprint. But there have also been some massive sprint powerhouses over the last decade. We can't forget the German sprinter Marcel Kittel, who was reported to hit a peak power of 1940 watts on a training ride. And then his German compatriot, yes, the gorilla Andre Greipel, while well, he was reported to hit 2000 watts at a road sprint. Now that's the first time I've heard of a road sprinter breaching that 2000 watt barrier. Over on the women's peloton now, and we can't look past Mariana Voss. Yeah, she's been the most successful women's cyclist of all time. She's clocked up an insane 248 wins. And at the age of 36, she still has a formidable sprint, breaching the barrier of 1,000 watts, even after a grueling road race. But the queen of sprinting in the women's peloton has to be Lorena Wiebes. Yep, she's got a 1,200 watt sprint, which has earned herself a win at the Tour de Femme Avec Swift. Now, if we're looking at real power, though, we have to look at the out and out sprinters and we have to look beyond the world of road cycling and look into the world of track cycling. Now, the undisputed world number one at the moment is Harry Leverson. He is the king of sprint cycling at the moment and he's got a sprint going over 2000 watts. Yeah, you heard that right. 2000 watts. He is the current Olympic champion and he's going for his fifth consecutive world title. But there is one other. <laughs> Jeffrey Hoogland, another big formidable track sprinter. Now he has breached 2000 watts. He's actually gone over that. He's got 2271 watts in the locker. Wow. I, I actually couldn't imagine being able to put out that much power. For the women's though, we can't look past the 12 times world champion, the 10 times European champion, Emma Hines, and her German compatriot, Lee Frederick, who can hit both 1500 watts in their track sprint. Now that's 300 watts more than their road sprinters. But how did today's sprinters compare with the legends of the sport? I'm talking about Sir Chris Hoy. He's synonymous with track cycling. He's got 11 times world titles, six times Olympic titles, and he's been able to hit 2,600 watts, which basically pushed him to 80 kilometers per hour around the velodrome. Literally mind-blowing. Yeah, 300 watts more than today's sprinters. And then the likes of Jason Kenny, another star of track cycling, he was able to hit and breach 2000 watts regularly while racing on the track. If you ask me, that is some big power. Now we can't talk about enormous watts without talking about enormous quads. And there's one man that sticks out among the rest. And that has to be the German sprinter, Robert Forstmann. He's got quads that measure 86 centimeters in circumference. He's known as the Quadzilla, but how much watts can those enormous quads generate? And they can generate 2,400 watts when he did a peak power test back in 2022, meaning his enormous quads still generate enormous watts. <laughs> However, those aren't the best. The real riders with the biggest peak power are not the sprinters in the track cycling, are not the sprinters in the road cycling, they are the BMXs. American cyclist and BMXer Nick Long, two times Olympic champion, was recorded to put out 2,700 watts. 
And then the likes of today's sprinters, Ian Bex, the likes of Kai White and his compatriots are putting out a regular 2200 and 2300 watts on the watt bike. That is some serious power. And a BMXer who was a formidable race winner who won the world title back in 1996, Jamie Staff, was also a world and Olympic champion on the track, was able to put out 2,600 watts. So there we have it, a list of the most powerful cyclists of all time. And today, those are the kind of numbers the riders are hitting, which is just mind blowing. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. And if there's anyone I've missed, then you know what to do. Get involved in that comment section below.